Today, May 4th, 2021, is the 14th day since my second Moderna COVID vaccination. <laughs> and I feel great. Now, some of you might be hesitant to get the vaccine. As I told a friend, I have a cooking channel here on YouTube. So that microchip that Bill Gates injected into my arm is helping people at Microsoft and the NSA learn to cook, right? Hey guys, don't fry with extra virgin olive oil. It smokes and burns at high temperatures. Use refined olive oil. It has a higher smoke point. Save the extra virgin olive oil for, as a flavoring oil. <laughs> there, I got that out of the way. I have a weird sense of humor sometimes. Uh, but I do love my coffee. Okay, really, I'm telling you, get vaccinated. It's the best way to stay out of the hospital or the grave. Look what's happening in India. It's frightening. My experience with the shots was relatively easy. I had no side effects from the first shot other than a slightly sore arm. It hurt a little when I did this, but otherwise no side effects at all. The second shot was administered by a, a doctor. I got lucky a little there. It was a big vaccination site in a convention hall at a large hotel, right? And he was the doctor on duty in case there was a medical incident and he and it's a dog barking outside. And he told me what to expect. He said about 50% of people have side effects from the second shot. He said they would be mild and go away in a day or two. Well, that evening, I uh, got the chills. I woke up with the chills um, around midnight. And I really shiver, but it was no big deal. I added a blanket to the bed, and I went back to sleep. The next day, I felt okay. No chills. But I was tired all day. I just wanted to stay in bed. And that was it. Chills at night and fatigue the following day. After that, I was fully back to normal again. Just like I feel right now. Perfectly okay. So if you're afraid of needles, if that's what's holding you back, don't be. They're not like they used to be. When I was a kid, they looked like sharpened water pipes. <laughs> Maybe I'm exaggerating. I remember the doctor when I was a kid telling me to look away before he gave me a shot. He was there with the needle, turn your head the other way, and then he gave me the shot. I don't mind shots. I don't care. The needle today is so thin and sharp, it glides in easily, and I barely feel it, if at all. I, I got a, was at the doctor's office one time, and... The doctor said, you're overdue for a, a, a tetanus booster, okay? And he sent in a, a, a nurse, and the guy said, mm, I'm sorry, but i got to give you a shot. And I said, what are you apologizing for? I don't care. <laughs> I don't care about shots. So when it came to the shots that I got, the Moderna, I did feel the first one. It was a, just a tiny little pinprick. And I didn't feel the second one at all. I didn't even feel it. So... And I get the flu shot every November. It's the paperwork and the waiting. <laughs> That's annoying. You fill out all the forms. You provide your insurance card. You have to sit in a waiting area for 20 minutes until the doctor or nurse can see you. Then in three seconds, boom, the shot is done and you're on your way. It, it, it's, it's the stuff beforehand that's annoying. Just give me the shot. You know, I know it's free. I usually get my shot at Costco because if I go to the doctor's office, there's a $20 copay just walking through the front door. Even though things like that, wellness visits, are supposed to be free. They try to get every dollar they can out of you. All right. But the issue is, <coughs> that went down the wrong way. It's more than just easy to get the vaccine. It's about the peace of mind. I probably worried too much when this COVID-19 virus started to spread last year. 
I was determined not to get sick. I hunkered down in my home. When I went shopping, which was limited to only once a month, I bought big things I could store in the freezer. My freezer was completely full back there. I had to take out the, the canister from my ice cream maker, take that out to have a little more room to store food. There was a lot of food still in there now. And I also put dry goods like canned goods and so forth and, you know, bags of rice, beans out in my shed. They're safe out there because the, the, the rodents can't get in there. It's a well-built shed. Some of those things I bought online, such as from Amazon, rather than buy it by going shopping. And I will admit, I probably agonized a little too much about finding an appointment to get a vaccine. I'll be 70 years old in July. I qualified, so I looked every morning. All the sites were fully booked. It even made me angry because people younger than me were getting vaccinated because they had connections. One was an office worker and she worked from home. <laughs> now, I've been through ordeals in the past. Some were really awful, such as when I worked through a, a cancer scare. I tested negative for cancer, by the way, but it was frightening and it was a pain. It was a nuisance. It was a nuisance. Because after I got the test back that said I was, I was negative, no cancer, I went up to the second floor where the oncologist's office was, and I, I talked to the receptionist and told her I need to cancel my appointment. Why are you canceling your appointment? Uh, because the tests came back, and they're negative. Well, we think you should see the doctor anyway. <laughs> I told her. Why would I want to see an oncologist if I don't have cancer? Well, okay. See, they wanted the money. It's a nonprofit, but they run it like it's a big profit hospital system. Right? Well, this pandemic that we went through ranks up there among the worst times that I've dealt with in recent years. I refer to it. I refer to it as the pandemic winter in my writing, such as uh, my website blog, which by the way, I got my report from Google, YouTube, and searches for my blog have gone up by 45%. More people are reading my blog now. Folks, get a life. My blog is awful. <laughs> okay. Anyways, getting back to th th this, this COVID thing, I was scared. I was scared. I, I, at my age, I did not want to get sick, but now I'm enjoying this peace of mind. I still go shopping, but only rarely because I still have plenty of food stocked up. When I do go out, I wear my vaccinated pin, right? My little lapel pin, in case you're wondering what that is. And I wear it proudly because I'm proud not to be an anti-vaxxer. I just saw on the news here in California, it's no longer required to wear masks outside in some settings if you're fully vaccinated. In a crowd, such as at a parade or a sports event, they're still saying masks are required, but you don't have to wear them when you go outdoors. And regardless of vaccination status, none, some in between me, we still need to wear masks indoors, such as... Um, at the grocery store or at the bank. I actually dislike wearing my mask more than getting a shot in the arm. Who cares? That's over in three seconds. But you know, if you're in the store for half an hour, 45 minutes wearing that mask, I don't like it. I don't like it. Anyway, before I drag this on too much longer, the bottom line is that I am fully protected now, or at least as much as you can expect. I think it's like 95, 96% protected. I know a vaccine is not a hazmat suit. I can still pick up the virus if I'm too near to someone who has it, who's infectious. But the vaccine has prepared my body to fight the virus. If I do get sick, it will be mild and gone in a day or two. I might pick up that COVID-19 virus and have no symptoms at all and not even know it which is the reason to wear a mask, because I could be a spreader. 
So anyways, as I said earlier, I get a flu shot every year. Occasionally, I still get the flu. However, it's a really mild case. And it's gone in 24 to 48 hours. The important thing is now that I don't need to fear that I'll end up in the hospital. At my age, nearly 70, that would be dangerous. According to, I have some statistics here for you. According to the latest AARP magazine, I want to read this. What was this edition? Um, doesn't matter. It's on there somewhere. April, May 2021. Reading. Those of us between the age of 65 and 75 were more than twice as likely to contract a fatal, fatal case of COVID-19 as our peers in their 50s and nearly eight times as likely as those in their 40s. That's how dangerous it was for people my age. It says that as a group, we've felt hunted. And that's what it was like at times. It felt like you know, we were being hunted by this virus. I like this feeling of peace of mind now. The stress has melted away. I feel I'm back to my former normal, pretty much. And that makes me a happy man, right? Oh, and someone suggested Someone said I should show a follow-up of the basil that's been growing under the grow light. I did a grow light video a while back, unboxing and showing what it, what it looked like. All the basil, it's all doing well. For the plants, I started in water rooted, and now they're in soil, and they're, they're, they're thriving. Two plants are rooting in water. Those will be ready to go into soil, I'd say in another week or two. And five of the seeds I planted have sprouted so all my basil is going well and oh and google youtube told me it said well not me personally but i got an email that said that i should remind you to click the like button if you like this video okay there you are there's your reminder do what you want i don't really care and thanks for watching Okay, and I'm going to sneeze. <coughs> Outtake.